Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. So this is your singles spread. Um, we'll do two spreads here. We'll look at uh, your energy and then we'll move on to the person that you are attracting. So how you present yourself to the opposite sex or same sex. We have six of wands, nine of cups. <laughs> the most beautiful energy I've seen this far uh someone who's very confident uh emotionally content really um relies on no one very independent successful whether that's in your career in general you do um attract a lot of attention towards you mostly because people view you as someone who's emotionally uh content on their own and they want to be a part of that but you're someone who gets a lot of attention um, from the opposite sex whether you notice that or not they really do six of wands is putting someone on a pedestal so really a lot of people do cherish you and who you are as a person but mostly this is talking about how you present yourself some positive traits you have as a lover so we have five of swords ace of swords queen of cups well you're emotionally very mature um, someone who's quite sensitive, um, compassionate to other people's opinion. Um, you can really smooth over an argument and really um, exercise a lot of compassion and understanding. And if someone's trying to be petty with you, um, I think you're more calm, cool, collected, is what I'm getting from that Five of Swords. Um, you are not someone who would like to win at the expense of an another you're well balanced here i'm seeing with the is a lover ace of swords queen of cups so yes you are you are operating from your heart space but you don't um, undermine your intellect so a good balance between your mind and your heart as a lover and then what makes you difficult to love we have three of cups, hierophant, two of swords. You can be a bit indecisive at times. Um, those same emotions that are attractive about you as a lover can be a hindrance at times as well. Um, there's a bit of a dilemma here in a way between doing what feels right, um, what is best for you, and then following tradition or rules um, so perhaps at times you uh, want to be free you want to be independent and do your own thing but other times you do crave a more uh, serious committed relationship that is a possibility but I'm seeing indecision here is what makes you a bit difficult uh, what you can do to change that we have four of cups high priestess really quiet your mind um, listen to your intuition. Uh, very intuitive sign. Um, you're a water sign and high priestess. I associate that with Pisces. So both four of cups is Cancer and high priestess is Pisces. So yes, it's telling you to calm your mind and listen to your intuition. Um, what kind of men, women you attract? you are attracting we have page of swords ace of wands you attract stalkers people that become sexually fixated on you um obsessive energy but also a bit immature with that page of swords and also a lot of uh, perhaps friends with benefits type energy or people that start off light and friendly but then it turns into some toxic obsession from the other person's part um that is what you are attracting what you need to attract in a partner we have two of cups eight of pentacles so someone who's emotionally on a similar wavelength as you um someone who's willing to put in the work um that is required to build a successful long-term relationship but also someone who's emotionally vulnerable uh, towards you and who's well balanced because i think you attract a lot of unbalanced individuals to you um, that are also only focused on their own gratification here. Um, when you can expect to meet a new love interest, we have Sun, Ten of Wands, Devil, 
king of pentacles so that is from capricorn to leo season so i'm getting anywhere from now until summer next year but high possibility of it being in the summertime because sun was the first card to come out um and wand so mm, i'm getting end of july but summertime is coming out here strongly for you okay let's look more into who this person is that you're attracting Okay, so who is this person, Pisces, Singles, your new love interest? Could be a Taurus. Very hardworking. This is someone of a high integrity, um, a very mature, wise individual, especially with the hermit hierophant. Um, this is not someone who's afraid to put in the work into a commitment. They want a committed relationship. This is someone who follows the rules and regulations of society. They're a strong believer in tradition. Um, they believe that if something works, then it shouldn't be changed. Um, can be a bit... Uh, rigid at times but quite wise regardless of their age and very hard working someone who really knows they have goals for the future and they're uh, willing to put in the effort to um, pursue those goals whether that's moving traveling um, they have that drive in them this highly this person is very self-motivated and well in control of themselves with chariot as well could be at a distance from you because three of wands and chariot together does signify travel but they can be a bit quiet shy introverted when you meet them that is a possibility but also someone who's very sexual or passionate um, i do want to get a chinese um sign for them representing their personality pisces singles next love partner what is this a rooster i think that's a rooster yeah yin so metal steady punctual reliable enthusiastic and hardworking yeah ten of wands reliable hierophant the rooster is usually loyal to friends and family alike but can be tactless and think it and always knows best <laughs> that's a little bit of the hierophant's negative um aspect courageous and brave the rooster is usually good with money especially that of other people so yes, if this person commits, they're quite um, loyal as a person. Very reliable energy is who this person is. Okay, let's get some more information about them. So what do they want from a lover or a love partner? They want someone, I'm getting this, they want someone that puts them up on a pedestal who really puts them first in their life and 
gives them a, this person wants needs a lot of attention is what i'm getting yeah someone who will be willing to invest their time to get to know them i think this person is very guarded with seven of wands hermit hermit that's closed off energy and perhaps um people give up on this person easily because they don't open up um and they want someone who's patient enough and who will stick around to really get to know who they're because the moon talks about our inner world our intuition so they want someone who really takes the time to get to know their core self um i want to see let's put these back i want to see your first impression of each other pisces Okay, let's see. What will Pisces first impression of this new love interest? I don't think you'll have the best uh, first impression. You may feel that this individual is quite selfish um very indecisive maybe very busy and juggling a lot of different things someone who holds back which they do okay that's nice to see yeah someone who holds back uh, their emotions but I think you'll see past this exterior. This can be someone who's quite jealous and possessive as well. With that five of swords, four of pentacles, queen of cups. Very competitive. What will their first impression of Pisces be? Ooh, wow. Very, very strong first impression, Pisces. Oh, wow. Yeah, they'll see you as an equal, um, someone who's quite grounded, analytical, really, really smart, but also someone who's good with their finances. You could have a stable um, or high position at work, but you're just someone who has things under control. King of Pentacles, it's usually a businessman, businesswoman. Where may you meet Pisces? in public this can be some sort of gathering at night time as well I'm getting some fortunate event is what I'm getting with this combination, a lucky break, that sort of thing. But there, whatever the situation is, there will be a lot of watching, observing from a distance because there's a lot of blue here. Very cold, detached energy when you do meet. Because yes, this is a pair, but in between them is the king of swords, is their mind. That's usually the energy. Is this person good for me? Uh, what are they like? Who are they as a person? King of Swords is someone who really likes to analyze and judge another. So I think you both will be a bit judging each other in some aspect. But this can be a nighttime or evening meeting is what I'm getting here.
Mm. Um, let's see their profession. What do they do for a living? This person could be a teacher, professor. I'm almost getting a university here, but a nine to five job. A pharmacist, someone who works by themselves in some aspect. Very, this is some sort of uh, authority figure though with the Hierophant. Yeah, I'm getting people, this person, clients, students come to this person and this, this person either offers their wisdom or advice in some aspect, in some way. But this is someone of authority figure, nine to five type of job, but someone who uh, works in isolation. But whatever their career is, they're very stable. They probably have a lot of money. Because we have two major arcana for their profession. That's beautiful. Okay, will the attraction between Pisces and their new love interest be instant? Yes. Yes, especially on their part, um, but there's, this will start off as friendship, but there will be a lot of physical attraction between you both. Um, they will really be attracted to you, your body, Pisces. But this can be some sort, I was getting some fortunate event, gathering somewhere out in public, and Three of Cups is instantly bonding, instant friendship, that type of energy. You'll hit it off right away. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome? Yeah, this relationship will have its own ups and downs. Um, there will be separation between you both. Um, a lot of bickering, but I see reunion here. Ten of Cups is ultimate emotional fulfillment. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. So I think it may be initially on again, off again uh, relationship. But something that really does have potential with the Ace of Pentacles. But whatever these arguments, this bickering, jealousy, possessiveness, whatever these petty battles are, I see with six of wands there, someone will be choosing to back off for a little bit. I mean, it won't be easy with that nine of swords, nine of pentacles, but ultimately I see you getting back together and work, working things out. But this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Take what you can from this reading, leave the rest. But that is what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you later. Bye.